I really need my coffee now. And my studio is a mess, but there's a reason for that. I've been evicted. Yeah. It was last weekend, and the weekend started fine. I was in beautiful Vendalen to entertain at after ski with my friend Håkan. Håkan play guitar and sing, and I play piano and sing. And we were entertaining people that have been skiing during the day. So this was in the afternoon, you might say. I went to Vemdalen, I found the place where I was gonna stay. It's, more, it's a small hostel, you might say, in the village of Vemdalen, which is down in a valley. And then Håkan came and picked me up to the place where we were gonna entertain. My ride. Hello, sir. Guten Tag! What is it we're gonna do today? We're going to play some good after ski gig. Um, be happy. <laughs> and hope be. to make people happy. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Maybe drink some beer also, but. Oh, really? After. Okay. <laughs> Not during work, of course. <laughs> Have you prepared anything for today? Nope. Do you usually prepare? Sometimes. I try to uh, get the first song in the set uh, fixed up, and then uh, from there we just just playing and, and see how the mood is and what suits the situation. But yeah. that means that you have planned a lot of repertoire, and you always have a feeling for what kind of intensity is needed in every moment. Yeah, and also. Isn't that planning also? Yeah, of course it is. So you mean that you have a plan A, but you also have a plan B, C, D, E, F, Q, U, and W. You have all the plans. Yeah. Yeah. All the alphabet. Yeah. I don't really like to prepare too much because I don't really know what's going to happen or what the, what the crowd is doing or yeah, you, you name it. But maybe the... the the first. You don't want to go into a gig like this with expectations. No. No. Hopes, of course, yeah. but not expectations. Yeah. Small plan A and then <laughs> a real plan B. Yeah, okay. B. So when we arrived to the place where we were going to entertain, I got an email from my landlord saying that they cancelled the contract. And I have less than two months to get out of this house. <laughs> The after ski was fine, but I totally forgot to film anything for you. Uh, just that short clip you just saw. Otherwise, I totally forgot that I had cameras and audio equipment with me. My head was messed up. Anyway, I had fun in Van Dalen. And now I'm packing. And there's a lot of things to pack. And also some thought process behind the packing. Because I have to think about the order I want to pack them up. Pack all the things up when I have a new place. I don't have a new place yet. I'm searching for it. I'm gonna set up a temporary home studio in the guest room in my apartment in the city. So I'm still able to work. Of course, I can't make a lot of noise there. I can't play drums or loud electric guitars and stuff like that. But I can mix, I can sing, I can play acoustic guitar and things like that. As long as it's not too late in the evening. And also I have to restore this place to its original shape. For example, I teared down a wall here, so I have to build a wall in my studio. I'll change the floors, things like that. That's not gonna be a big problem, but it takes time and it takes a lot of energy. Energy I could have used on other things, of course. This was a little bit of a different video for you. Uh, more of an update, you might say. So if you have come this far, thank you for watching. And if you want to know how it goes, please subscribe. Packing in Swedish is nearly the same. Packa. Packa. Wish me luck. Until next time, Roger that.